Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, it's going to be all about vertical video. So if you're doing a project and somebody took their phone and actually filmed a vertical video, how to put this into DaVinci Resolve and make it usable in your projects. And I'm going to show you two different ways in doing exactly that. So without further ado, let's go right to the video. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get right to this vertical video issue. Um, most likely you have asked somebody to just make a quick shot of themselves telling something that you needed to put in some kind of a video and most likely all the time they're shooting vertical and sending that to you but you're working in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio video format and um, if you just want to drop that in you're going to get something like this which uh, doesn't look very nice to the eye. Luckily, there are a couple of solutions to making this footage work. So the first one is uh, pretty forward. I'm going to go into the effects library to open effects. I'm just going to search here for blank. Blanking fill, which is a DaVinci Resolve plugin. I'm just going to put this right on here. Go to the inspector and um, Already now this is looking different and maybe a little bit more interesting than before. But anyway, I'll go up to the effects and here we can change the source. If we want to, we can crop left or right, but we're not going to do that. We can also crop the top and bottom if we want to do some kind of a fun little thing. But for this clip here, we are not going to do so. So we also have a fill extent. So here we have some different zoom modes. We have um, stretch to timeline, zoom to timeline, and it's just going to change the background, which is maybe what we want to do. We can also do it manually, when, however we want, changing it like that, stuff like that. But um, I think we're going to do the stretch to timeline. We have this thing. And um, now we can start to do something. We can, of course, blend edges here so it's not so sharp. We can blur the background. It's already blurred, but we can blur it even less. Or we can blur it something like that. Also, we have a fade amount where we can fade the colors. And of course, we can change the fade, fading colors as well. Um, this plugin also will give you the ability to do a drop shadow. So here we can push the strength and the angle and the distance like there. And then we can blur the amount. So we're kind of giving this a little more, I don't know, finesse, I guess, better than black bars at least. So that is the first method of doing so. The second method is actually also a free method, but this is a plugin from Motion VFX. And if you've been watching this channel, you know I do love Motion VFX's effects. And they have a free plugin, so I might as well just want to that as well. So I'll just go to my effects and I'm just going to go all the way down here to the button M vertical. And I'm just going to add that onto my clip. And of course, um, I'll go up to the inspector and here I can change stuff around. Of course, um, I can change the footage, you know, scale, zoom, whatever I want. Um, change the contrast of the footage, change stuff around, making it look way different. Uh, most likely you wouldn't do that. Also, I can change the background, the position of the background, the rotation, whatever I want. So I can give it my own unique look. However, you can also mirror your background. So now it's just mirroring the background and then I could, for instance, scale it down like that and I could um, do like taking the copies and move them around or I could do an animation, something like this, you know, I start talk and uh, there's two of me in the background, whatever. You could also fade the background a bit 
or contrast the background or change the blur size and stuff like that. So again, pretty cool. Um, a, another thing, of course, you could also do a copy of it. So it's going to do exact copy. However, I do like the mirror a bit more. Also a thing you could add in to make this a little bit more unique would be to take a generator and I'm just going to take a solid color and I'm going to put that on top of everything, selecting the solid color and I'm going to make this, let's say, white. Okay. And I'll go into settings and I'm going to cropping and I'm going to crop left and right. So I have a line. Let's say something like that. I'm just going to go to the transform and the position and I'm going to move this to the end here or the end of my frame. I'm going to select my solid color and then I'm just going to push alt and I'm going to drag up and doing a copy that way, selecting the top layer and um, I'll go to position and I'm just going to put this to the other side. So here we have a different look at the exact same thing. Also, I would like to give you just a super quick bonus tip if you want to change things around here. We could also just use, you know, a solid color underneath our clip. And let's uh, select the color going into the generator and um, let's take this bluish color right here. So now we have something like that. And then of course you could add in what I did with the generator and the colors to get these two lines and you have a effect like that. And that might work for what you are doing. At least it doesn't have the black bars, which I hate when I am watching 16 by nine ratio things with the vertical video inside. Anyway, I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.